Hi, welcome to this Young at Art at Home project. Today is gonna to be a really fun project that is made for being outside. We are gonna be doing some salt drawings. My name is Sylvie with Steamboat Creates and this is what you'll need for this salt drawings project. You'll need some salt and you'll also want some kind of food dye. It's not necessary, but it'll give you a lot more variety in your drawing to have the colors. You'll also want a bowl or a few and some kind of spoon for stirring and some kind of squeeze bottle. So if you have like a ketchup and mustard kind of classic bottle, that would work great. I had this old dish soap bottle and once I rinsed them out and let them dry, got all the soap out and let them dry, these are gonna work really well for making our drawings. The first step is deciding if you want to just start off with the white salt, that will work great. And all you'll need to do is take your salt and fill up one of your bottles with that white salt. If you want to add colors to your drawing, then you want to start by adding some salt to a bowl. And the next step is adding the food dye. So if I want a red color, I'll use this food dye. Put about 15 drops. I don't have a lot of salt in there and about 15 drops will do it. You will wanna do this a day in advance so that it gives the salt time to dry out so that you can draw with it properly. Otherwise, it's gonna get clumpy in your squeeze bottle. So we'll put about 15 drops in here. And you can always add more if you want the color brighter or darker. Now I'm gonna mix it up and you'll see it starts off clumpy and the more you mix it, the better it will be. So you want to keep mixing until that color is really consistent throughout and you don't see any spots that are darker or lighter than the others. And now I recommend letting this dry on a paper plate so that you can spread it out. Now this can dry on this paper plate overnight and it'll start to get drier and you'll end up seeing those individual salt grains. All right, so now the food dye and the salt has dried overnight. And so now I've got a red color here. I also made a green color and I'll have the white of the salt to use as well. The next step is filling up the squeeze bottle. So now you're gonna to wanna to pour the salt into one of these squeeze bottles. And put the lid back on and making sure that this lid is totally clear of any soap that used to be there so it doesn't get too clumpy. And now we are ready to draw with our salt. Let's go outside. All right, so I have found a great surface. It's my driveway. You could also do this on a deck. Anywhere that this salt, it's okay that when the rain comes or the wind comes, it can get washed away um, and it's totally natural for our environment. So it's all good. We're gonna start drawing. You wanna make sure that you get the salt down to the bottom and then you'll notice that as you squeeze it out, it'll come in different amounts and you might notice some air comes out as you squeeze that might move the sand around or the salt around but that's okay Green's almost out, so we're gonna move on to the top of the flower here. So here's my 
high flower. And the smoother the surface you have, the easier it's gonna be to draw on. You'll notice that this one's pretty rough, so the lines are just not as sharp as if you had a really smooth um, either driveway or a deck to do this on. Thanks so much for joining another Young at Art at Home project. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine and stay creative. You can check out more of our activities with simple household materials at steamboatcreates.org slash classes and subscribe to the Steamboat Creates YouTube channel so that you're the first to know when we upload a new video. Thanks, bye.